Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. Has anyone ever asked you, is your cup half full or is your cup half empty? It seems to be a popular question. I've been asked it many times in my life. One time in particular, I was on a street corner in New York City, standing next to a gentleman who looked lost. So I just said, excuse me, can I help you? Are you lost? And he was quite surprised that another pedestrian stopped and asked him if he needed help. It was New York. Nobody does that in New York, according to other tourists. So I I did ask him and he said, oh my gosh, that's so nice of you. Could I ask you a question? And I said, sure. And he said, is your cup half empty or is your cup half full? And I said, neither. And he said, neither. And I said, my cup overfloweth. And his jaw dropped open. He said, I have asked that question my whole life. And I have never, ever heard that answer. And I said, well, that's my answer. And he said, are you religious? And I said, I'm a very faith-based person. And I love the 23rd Psalm. And that's one of my favorite lines from the Psalm, that my cup overfloweth. Anyway, he was fascinated by my answer. And I saw that he was very decorated. He had lots of pins on his lapel. And I didn't quite know what they all meant. But it turned out that he was a big mucky muck at the Boy Scouts. So the fact that I stopped and helped him when he was about to cross the street is kind of ironic. I have a funny sense of humor. I see the humor in everything. And I thought that was kind of funny that I was helping him when he was a big mucky muck at the Boy Scouts. So anyway, we had this whole conversation and it was quite delightful. And what I realized is that if he has asked that question for so many years, decades, and I'm the first person to ever say overfloweth, and that many people say half empty, that I have a different (laughs) mindset than a lot of people. And I think it's this mindset that got me through three surgeries, 44 radiation treatments, and two and a half years of chemotherapy with nothing but bad news, bad news, bad news, until, as some of you may know, I was told to get my affairs in order. And that was several decades ago. So why do this podcast, Beating Cancer Daily? Because I believe that you can teach a mindset that helps you be in a better place to handle what happens not only in cancer, but what happens in life. And if you've heard any or seen any of my research that I've done on mindset and advanced cancer patients, we have started to prove very significantly that this is true. So how do you see a cup that overfloweth? How do you not see a cup as half empty? How do you start to see your cup as half full and as full and getting more full, especially when you've been diagnosed with cancer or any major challenge in your life? Well, I believe it's like working out at a gym. I believe that you actually practice it. I believe that if you start to build that muscle of resilience and you start to practice being grateful, being hopeful, 
being mindful, being positive, laughing, listening to comedy, being happy, that slowly but surely your brain starts to appreciate the endorphins that you produce when you laugh, when you're happy. It's like that runner's high. So Beating Cancer Daily is a podcast that meets every day for 365 days so we can build micro habits of joy, positivity, comic perspective, laughter, happiness. It really is like going to a gym. You're just going to my Beating Cancer Daily gym. As you've seen, there's so many episodes. And if I can please ask you to not just listen to one, but listen to one every day, you can binge them. You can listen to 10 a day. They're so short, right? But I want you to start working out with me. I want you to practice these silly, sometimes very silly strategies. Sometimes they're more intense. Sometimes they're more intellectual, but it doesn't matter. Each one builds upon the next, builds upon the next. And what happens is you start to build this resiliency, this neuroplasticity, your mind starts to let go of that empty glass and it starts to fill up your glass. So I would love for you to keep practicing. I'm going to give you one visualization for today to help you get that glass half full or to overflow. Every time something happens to you today, whether you perceive it as good or bad, I want you to try to find the silver lining in it. Yep. I want you to try to find the silver lining. Now, some pretty bad things can happen to us today. People could hit our car. We could get bad blood results. We could lose a loved one. These things happen. But what I want you to do without being disrespectful to the situation, and you can still mourn the situation, is I want you to try to find the silver lining in it all day long, every time something happens, even if you don't get a raise, even if your kid falls down, even if, God forbid, anything happens, I want you to force yourself to find the silver lining. And some people use the fact that they say nothing is random, everything happens for a reason, that, you know, God has a bigger plan. A lot of faith-based people use those justifications, those explanations. They're all positive ways to cope, but I want you to try this and let me know. You're probably going to text me or leave a message at comedycures.org on the record us button. Saren, this was the most annoying thing you ever had us do, but I would love for you to do this. If you can do it more than one day, if you can keep practicing it, even if it's not every time something happens, I would love to hear from you how this sits and how it plays out. And if you do start to see your glass more full, and if you do one day call me or write to me and say, girl, my cup overfloweth, <laughs> I would love it. Okay. No judgment. Everybody goes at their own pace. Keep in touch and have a blessed day. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to comedycures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit 501c3 organization 
founded from my chemo chair, April 1999, and we've been going strong ever since. So please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Feeding Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.